Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm still in Perthshire I've actually come just a few miles up the road, the A9 from Perth itself and I've come to a place called uh, Stanley Mills which is an example of industrial uh, mills in Scotland uh, so if you think maybe along the lines of like, New Lanark but without the surrounding village uh, it's right on the River Tay and it is again looked after by Historic Scotland and yeah, it's, this is somewhere that I've not actually managed to be uh, to visit before so uh, this could be quite an interesting little visit they do have quite a good sized car park so if you are coming to visit and you've, you've got to bring your car with you because it is I don't, I don't know if there's actually any bus links here so you might you might actually have to kind of come along in a car but there is a decent sized car park so that's always a good sign and um, so i'm going to be going for a wee wander around the site in just a moment but before i do that if you're enjoying my channel if you're enjoying my videos if you can click on the subscribe button click on that notification bell leave some likes leave some comments it's always really appreciated and if you'd like to support the channel further I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, uh, the channel's uh, TikTok account, PayPal account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab my things, head on out and just hope that this rain holds off until I get back to the car. Here we go. Uh, so there must be a wee village surrounding the factories after all. I thought it was just the factories. There's a pheasant that you can hear. It's getting noisy. So those are some of the buildings over there. I'm going to try and uh, walk up to the, the ticket office into the entrance because you probably get a better view of the buildings from there. So just follow the path up this way. So there are quite a few historic Scotland sites uh, around the book. Uh, Dunblane and Perth and a lot of them do seem to be free entry some of them are uh, you have to pay to get in and again that does go towards keeping all of these places looked after and open yeah I did get the wee cagoule out from the back of the car because knowing my luck if I didn't uh, get it out of the car and didn't wear it uh, the rain probably would start coming down and and sheets that probably get soaked. Uh, the wind is definitely picking up, so there probably is a front coming in. So hopefully it shouldn't be too wet. So this would be the the water source that they'd be using for working the mills when the mills are still working. I think those might actually be houses over there people stay in. So again probably treat it a bit like Neil Lanark and leave your car in the Vista car park. Yeah, so that there, that's the, the bit I just showed you. Oh, just uh, a bit of water going past the mills. That's a lead and the water from that comes from the tea itself, which actually flows, I think, just on the other side of the buildings. So a lot of the, all this was actually brought about, like the, the mills were brought about by Duke of, the Duke of Athol back in the, the late 18th century. Yeah, so the visitor centre here has only been open since uh, 2008, which I didn't know that long ago. 
so some of the buildings on the site are housing. So if you are visiting, do bear that in mind if you are coming here. I uh, do have respect for those who do live here. And yeah, so since we treat it a bit like in your Lanark, where even though it is a historical site and it is some of historical interest, it's still someone's home. So just, yeah, just, just remember that. Yeah, so just a wee idea of the layout of where we are. So I parked in the car park and there's that wee path between the car park and the lane. I've walked along there and we're now at the gatehouse. So uh, the visitor centre is over at the, the bell mill and yeah, I'm just going to pop in there and try and see what information I can get. Yeah, just to make sure you all know where I am. Yeah, so Stanley Mills is just outside the village of Stanley, which is just up the hill a wee bit. So that's the River Tay down there. So that's it flowing down from Loch Tay and heading down towards uh, Perth. And the visitor centre is in here. So this wee door. So that's where you go when you're uh, paying your entry, entry fee. So they do have a lot of displays about the history of the place. And we mock up of one of the mills and how it have worked. So definitely a lot of information to to learn about. Some of the old wooden bobbins. So that's what, what the thread would have gone on to. Now you can just make it the rubber tie through the window. So the room I'm in just now is called the spinning room. So this has been where a lot of the, the spinning would have taken place for the, the weaving or the, for the mill work. So there'd been a lot of dust, a lot of noise, and a lot of danger working up here. Okay, we've got this machine here, which it, uh, I'm guessing is supposed to show you the power of uh, the tea and how it was able to power the mills. So. Press the green button. Um, guess I come along this way, and it should power the turbines. I guess I'll probably give it time to actually fill up. Yeah, so this is probably one of the, the, the leads still in position. If you can see that the river's just outside. So they've been using this to, to control the water or to get water from the river in order to power 
the mill itself. So this is the archaeology room. You can actually come in here and see some of the remains of older parts of the mill. I'm guessing that would be like parts of a lead or something. Or uh, parts where the some of the working parts of the work have uh, been positioned. There's a lot of stonework lying about. I think there have been quite a number of archaeological projects carried out here, which have helped understand how Stainwell Mill was built and understand the history of it. So, can I actually come out to this bit here? And so there's been where water wheels and turbines would have been put in order to power the mills. So you can see all of that there. And you can see some of the water coming in from the river. Yeah, it's one of these places that is really peaceful now when you think about how busy and noisy this place would have been before. It really does put things into perspective. So that's about the building I was in just there. Uh, um, where the archaeology room is, is just then underneath that walkway over there. Because those are the pits that I was showing you in that bit of the video. There's some, some more information here about the archaeology of it. I'd have to get JCBs and to help clear a lot of the soil. Give you an idea of it as now. So if you've been to New Lanark or you've seen my video about New Lanark, which I'll try and tag at the top of the video. Uh, this the Stanley Mill is similar. I think even the, the staff will say that there are similarities between uh, here and New Lanark. So if you're beating New Lanark, definitely come along and uh, visit the Stanley Mill. And it's definitely, it's, it's definitely a bit quieter than New Lanark. Boy, fewer people visit here. And again, I'm here towards the end of the season as well but there's a definitely a peacefulness about this place and it's probably not as well known as New Lanark but it's definitely worth a visit definitely worth coming down and exploring and possibly getting a, a different perspective on the industrial revolution in Scotland so I'm going to keep exploring try and see what else I can find and try and see if I can get down to the river as well.
Yeah, it's a wee hydro power station on site. So it did close back in 1965 because it was too costly to run, but it has reopened. So it does uh, provide power for local homes. Yeah, so that's the hydro station over there. You could probably hear like the the station working away. Yeah, a couple of people told me if I go up this way and turn right at the gate and turn right again, I'll take me down to the river. I suppose I'll draw pretty down there. Yeah, I found the right way now. Just down this way. Yeah, I had to go through the gate. Come to the main roads. Yeah, I've got to come around the back of the hydro scheme. There you go, folks. This is the River Tay. This is flowing down from Loch Tay down to Perth. Well, that's me back from my little exploration of Stanley Mills. And again, it's one of those places that I'd heard of before. I knew it existed, but I'd never real I'd never really thought about coming to visit. So I thought, well, while I was up here having a bit of a day in, in Perthshire, I thought, well, why not? It's not that far from uh, Perth itself. Uh, so it's a good wee jaunt just to kind of be able to come up and have a good a good wee explore of uh, another example of Scotland's industrial heritage. Because again, just but everybody knows about New Lanark, a lot of people go and visit there. Because again, it's world, fa it's world famous. But a lot of people don't realise you can come here as well and explore Stainless Mills. So I've definitely enjoyed my little visit here. I've definitely enjoyed coming and having a good wander around and just being able to explore the site. Hopefully you will all have found Stainless Mills intriguing. Hopefully you will all come visit here when you come up to Perthshire. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.